Hello everyone, this is Shelley Rodrigo, your instructor for the spring section of TWC 301 General Principles of Multimedia Writing. This video is a quick introduction to the class, and as you can see, this is the class website, so although you probably got here through Blackboard, you need never, well, I can't say never, you'll go back to Blackboard twice to get some readings, but otherwise Blackboard is um, not the space where we'll be doing work for the course. So. Uh, Ideally, you should be watching this video in the right-hand corner here. This is the old video that I'm pointing to right now. I'll be replacing it with the video I'm recording right now. Um, the most important thing you'll do is up here in the left-hand corner, well, no, I shouldn't say left. At this point, it's the middle of the page where it says Get Started. Click on Get Started. That's your first deadline. Notice there's a due date here. Your first due date is on Wednesday, January 11th. You want to get all this work done before Wednesday. And I'll be honest, most of this work is reading a bunch of uh, stuff like the syllabus and setting up a bunch of uh, technologies. You'll do great. You'll be setting up a WordPress blog like what this course is built in, among some other things. Um, and on that note, just be forewarned, you'll be using a lot of technologies for this class, which means you'll be banging your head against the wall with some of these technologies. I know that. You now know that. Please know that that's kind of part and parcel of the course. And I'll expect you to do uh, be frustrated at times, uh, but when you become too frustrated, that's when you definitely um, email me. So let's get going. You'll start with Get Started, and then all of your work for the semester is up here in the three modules. So Module 1, there's Due Date 2, and at the top of each of these pages, it does tell you the date. Uh, all of our uh, deadlines are on Wednesdays this semester. It does tell you the date. Uh, also in the syllabus, you'll get a list of due dates as well, but pretty much every Wednesday, skipping spring break. So you'll want to go in and uh, click on those. If you check down here on the right-hand side, um, you'll notice there's categories of deadlines, so that's the due dates, deadlines, projects, not as uh, uh, reflective because project two and three are not in there. Uh, announcements, I will say this, it's very important. Let's go back to the main page. If you click on the title of the website, it'll always take you back to the main page. You should regularly, probably at least two, three times a week, come to this main page and whatever's posted here at the top is a newest announcement. It's a blog, so whatever's newest is at the top, and you want to make sure you're always checking that because that's where I'll post official course announcements. So um, there's a Q&A area and a resources area, and I hope you'll check those or you know Q&A, put in some questions there too. So there's a quick overview of the course. Um, again, start with getting started, and then modules one, two, and three are associated with the three major projects we'll be doing for this course. But as you'll see, if we click in module one, Let's click due date three this time. Um, as you're working on big projects, you'll also be doing a bunch of homework. So don't think that uh, you'll just be doing the projects and that's it for the course. No, no, there's a bunch of homework. But the homework all leads towards helping you complete the major projects. Besides setting up your WordPress blog, you'll also be setting up Digo. D-I-I-G-O. It's a social bookmarking application. Basically what that means, if we click here, is you... Uh, Use Digo to remember websites, kind of like my favorites on your computers. And if we scroll down, notice you can take notes in it, and you'll be taking notes in yours. Uh, what I highly suggest is when you come to Digo on the front page here, they've got a video. Watch that video uh, before you get started. It will help a lot. Um, also, with Digo, we'll have a course, a group, and so you'll be joining this group. Uh, besides setting up Digo, you're going to be setting up Poplet. And Poplet is a mind map application. And let's quickly look at here's what your Poplet, the beginnings of your Poplet is going to look like. Uh, what I'm going to ask you to do is in the center set up, you know, the course. And then we have 11 course outcomes. And so I'm asking that you make a little node uh, or what do they call them? They call them Poplets. A uh, little node here for each course outcome. And then what you'll be doing, and I started to do it a little bit here, is you'll be adding notes into the course. So this is um, this is where you're going to do some note taking, and this is where you'll start to demonstrate what you've learned in the course. Let's get back to the course website. Um, so that's kind of the fast and furious quick getting started overview. I promise you will be um, starting more technologies as you get going with the class. 
uh, and uh, please, please, please always feel free to email me, especially the first couple weeks. I tend to be very uh, aggressively attentive to email and we'll get back to you quickly. Um, after that, give me, you know, at least 48 hours for various reasons to respond to you. Have a good day and I look forward to seeing all of your WordPress blogs.